100%. All right, I'm here with a thing. Thank you for coming with us. The T called you the 1500 meter queen yesterday. Oh my God, stop it. No way y'all called me the queen of the 15. She called you the queen of the 15, and today I was watching you, and I was like, oh my God. Yeah. She may really be the queen of the 15. What, what, what was in the U.S. Let's just say maybe in the U.S. In the in the U.S. I mean, because it's going crazy right now. It's going, it's going crazy right now. But like, you haven't ran in UPR by how many seconds this 13. weekend? Okay. Like, 13. what was what was your expectation mindset just going I into mean, that? I just wanted to have fun. I feel like the main goal is to have fun. Just go out here and literally see what I could do. I knew Bobby definitely knew I was going to run fast. Um, I don't think there was really a goal, but I mean, yesterday I saw the world championship standard was 4035, so I kind of had that in mind. Um, but I definitely, I mean, I wasn't even really expecting to win. I just wanted to go out, have fun, be competitive, and, you know, be in the top three just because. So after just running the 15 now, like, when you hear about that A15 double, when people say you're going to do that, or Bobby talks to you about that, yeah. do you have more confidence that that's really something that you could do at the world stage? Yeah, I mean, I would say 100%. I mean, I don't know how far it'll go this year, but I mean, I feel like just, just being a little stepping stone to what we can do in the future is definitely really cool. Um, and just being able to experience it possibly at Worlds would be really fun so we know, like, this is what we can do leading up to next year or maybe two years down the line. And so it's just nice to have that experience going on now. Yeah, and in New York, you talked about just like Bobby, Bobby knows, you feel good going into USAs and everything. You're walking away in a, uh, well, walking away with the medal, an event that you rarely do so Bobby really does know like what do you tell him when you walk away and you're like bruh like how did you know I was about to run this I don't this tell him anything I just nothing there's literally I just there's nothing I, I mean I feel like we just have a look that we give one another and we're just like okay like we just did that that's it I mean I feel like few words because I feel like I'm just in shock a little bit but at the same time I know what he's done with past athletes and I know what we do in practice and how he talks about races and so as much as of a shocker it is to other people I'm not really surprised that we came out here and we competed and almost won yeah. um, because that's exactly what Bobby told me before don't be don't be surprised if we win <laughs> Well, I like how you said we win, too. Y'all really like a, you really a unit. We're, we're a team. We're a team. <laughs> well, congratulations on today. I'm excited to see you at Worlds. Um, I'm excited to see you run more 15s, too. Oh, yeah, that was is. hype. Yo, I, I love, I, whenever I see a black person, though, in the 15, oh, yeah, from American black, black the yeah, American black person in the, in the 15, because that was my event. I'm like, let's go. I'm yeah. cheering hard. Bernard Leal was my favorite athlete of all time, too. So, yeah, you killed it. Congratulations, and thank you. Thank you.